This morning, a story about a woman who actually ran away with the circus to escape abuse. She is now on a mission to help others do the same in her home country of Mongolia. During this Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, Pauline Lee shares Chim Gay's story. Here we go. At her home in St. Paul. You know, not a lot of people have a yurt in their backyard. No, oh, I don't think so. No. All right, got it. Thank <laughs> you. Chim Gay Halter, who? Oh, wow. Doesn't have to go far for a taste of her childhood home of Mongolia. I grew up a uh, house like this. How often do you cook in your yurt? Oh, lap. Flavors still savor. It's ready to go. In a timeless family recipe for beef dumplings. So we're gonna cut them. It's an art that began for her at a young age. Seven, eight, I'm already helping my mom, and so you hold like that. One that's a reminder of the good times. Oh, yeah. What? But also the hard times. What was life like growing up in Mongolia? I could say, yes, happy, but uh, also okay uh, childhood. Growing up in Mongolia, Chimge fell in love with gymnastics. But I loved it and I liked to do all the tumbling. And ah! That love fueled a passion for performing. I said, yes, I want to go. I want to be circus performer. She beat out hundreds of applicants to be accepted in the Mongolian State Circus College and graduated at the top of her class. Soon she was traveling internationally, living out her dream. It's amazing art, you know, amazing thing. But behind the smile and colorful costumes lied a dark family secret. I grew up uh, watching domestic abuse and I was in, uh, in the situation. When you say abuse, you were hit? Yes, very much. She says that cycle continued into her first marriage. Seven years. So I had some damage, broke my jar, you know, some, you know, big issues. A tough topic of conversation for a very long time. Especially in Asian cultures, because I feel like we don't talk about it at all. Yeah, it's a culture thing, right? But in 1991, a way out. The Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus, handpicked her act to join them under their big top in America. So you ran away with the circus? Yes, circus saved my life and completely changed my life. She left her husband behind, took their young son, and never looked back. Together, they toured with the famed greatest show on earth. Eventually, she found her way to Minnesota, remarried, kick, 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 kick. and began teaching with Circus Juventus. I love my job. <laughs> but something was always missing. Even I came here, United States, have a great life and great husband, great job. I can't forget this is never, I just have to do something, you know. So she started her own nonprofit, Mission Mandahai, named after the great Mongolian female warrior. Amazing woman. I want to be like her. The mission to travel to Mongolia's most rural and underdeveloped communities to provide free circus shows featuring both American and Mongolian performers and raise awareness of domestic abuse. Before the show, just a quick, short and sweet. So this is show we're doing uh, raise awareness of domestic abuse. The performers then help reinforce that message during the show. We hold the uh, poster, so we're saying abuse is not right. After the final bow, we give uh, information and the hotline number. Each trip is packed with dozens of free performances within several weeks, and after every stop, the phones light up at the Mongolian National Center Against Violence. When we there, power, you know, like, hey, you know what? People there to help, so I want to talk. She's made 10 trips in the last 13 years. You've helped hundreds, if not thousands hundreds of people. Hundreds and thousands, I will say, because 10 years, that many people. I'm going to put a little more. But financing each trip gets harder and harder. Can't you? Fundraisers with performances from Circus Juventus and Mission Mandahai have helped. Uh, yes. But now she's launching a new fundraiser ahead of her next trip this August. Yeah. Oh, better, see? That wasn't bad. Yeah, that's good again. <laughs> One that offers some food for thought. We can steam it and we eat it. An invitation to her yurt. Eat while it's hot. I have one left. A lesson in dumpling making. Look at that steam. Mmm, mmm. And a conversation across cultures. That's delicious. Sharing mm. a taste of home. <laughs> Hopefully, a lot of people interested to come and support. In hopes of making an impact around the world. The rest of my life, and I'm talk and help. And I don't want them to go through my life. And 
you know, I don't want them to experience. So I just want to do something. Jim Gay hopes to hold several dumpling making experiences to raise money for her upcoming trip. Mission Manduhai is also holding a circus performance fundraiser that's on June 17th. We've got more information on WCCO.com.